Hi everyone, I'm Teacher Faye from Blue Tree Education Learning Center. Today I'm going to share with you a math approach that helps you to solve problem sums using the set approach. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's take a look at the first question. In this question, it is important that you recognize what makes one set. One set is made out of five bottles of perfume sold plus a $20 bonus that Stinky will earn. This will make up a total of $55. He earned a total of $330. And so when you take $330 divided by 55, you will get the answer 6. Now at this point in time, you need to be very careful that 6 represents 6 sets of 5 bottles. And the total number of bottles that he sold is 5 times 6, 30 bottles of perfume. Do you get that? Let's take a look at the second question. In this question, I've changed the total amount to be $344 spent by Stinky. When you take $344 divided by 55, there will be a remainder. It gives 6 sets and a remainder of 14. You need to understand what $14 means. The remainder 14 represents the extra money earned from selling another two bottles of perfume. So 14 divided by 7 will give you two bottles. Okay. Let's revisit this part again. The whole number 6 represents 6 sets of 5 bottles. So you need to take 6 times 5, that gives you 30, plus the two bottles, and that will give you the answer 32. Did you get that? So now, you should be able to solve similar set approach questions. Remember to join us on our various social media platforms. We do have a Facebook math discussion group. Come join us where you can drop questions and we can do active discussion online. See you soon. Bye.